Elia. What did I say? I want to tell me. Tell me, look at here. Alaji, I, I, I want to offload for you for a fee. Offload? Yes, of of Kaya? Yes, offload. <laughs> you know, you're not going to kill me for love or life. Yeah, you can tell me, sir, I the offload for good motor lorry like this one. Okay, can I? Zach, it's okay. Only you in the show camp. Alaji, for just, I will offload for you just for a fee. Offload for Kaya? Alaji, please. I just want to offload for you so that you will pay me small money. Please. Get offload of Kaya. The offload of a motor. Big lorry. You. Alaji, see. Please. Listen to me. My family depends on me for survival. Please. I just want to do it. And end small. Just give me this opportunity. Alaji, if you, if I don't do it for two hours, don't pay me. Okay. Two hours they go of the big lorry, big motor like this one, you. Allah just said do it this. There's nothing any man can do in this market that I cannot do. Try me. I don't finish. I don't finish. Ha! One trailer, six minutes before two hours. Okay. Wallahi, I make me proud of well, well. Thank you. You try well, well. Thank you, Alaji. You see, now, now, I don't prepare. You know, today is Friday. I don't go to my masala chip. I don't come out my cloth for work. This one, my cloth, I go masala chip. Aha! You preach everything. What yes, Alaji. You are. Uh, you are. Your money now, how much? Alaji, give me my money. Uh, 25,000. Uh, 25,000. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Yes, How much is a um, basket to me? Yes. One. Yes. One. Um, One. 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 One.
6,000. One basket. I won't go sell them for village. One basket? Yes, At the chopper? I won't go sell them for village. At the seller? Yes, I like. You? Yes, I like. Upload them for tomorrow? Yes. You see, boy, boy, condo there? Yes. They just sell them. They do business. Yes, I like. Why are you a millionaire? I like. Eh, I hear. You see one place where then they offload yam. Uh -huh. uh, they say now nah, you get them. Ah, uh, mommy you get them. Okay, Alaji, I want to offload yam. You? Yes, Alaji. I upload the tomato. I go upload the yam, kuma. Yes, Alaji. Can 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 you not go to the bar? You will show me the place. I will take. I will show you the place. Okay. You, you will pay me how much for offloading yam? For much of kabadia? Yes. Uh, you put a Latin, 30,000 naira. Uh, Alaji, let's go. You? Yes. Only you? I'm ready, I'm very okay. okay, okay let's okay. go, so thank I you. I don't chop? I'm okay, sir. I'm not hungry? No, no. Let's go. Go. Thank you. Going on. Four times in few minutes. What has entered this compound with basket filled with two bags of yam? Where did she get those yams from? Or has she resorted to stealing from people's bag? Whose man did she get that? Hey! Hold up your money! What is going on here? Where did you get those yams from? Oh, these yams. I, I bought them. Like Who gave you money? Hey. To buy yeah. I used my God-given brain to work and make some money. So I raised capital to buy these yams. Capital? Yes, Auntie. Auntie, why are you asking me these questions? Eh? Ogona has decided to make herself useful. I have decided to start a new line of business. Please let me go inside. This 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 basin is too heavy. Oh, because and I still have more to offload. Dal. Okay, 
now that you've done this, who who is this? Huh? Suppose what? Don't even try it. You marry a man a year new. Let him back. Let them complete their match. And what's my own? My belly and I are in front. Waiting. When the match is done, I will, I will come back. Come on. 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 Offload my own into the pot. Uh, he will cut open my belly and set them out by force. Can you imagine? So, Kamuta threatened you into defecating into a pot and you actually did? Eh? A pot that I used to prepare food for, for, for everybody to eat? What is the meaning of this? Listen, even, even in your condition, you should you should know that your brother is a recuperating madman. You should, you should know what to do anytime I'm not around now. Eh? What's the meaning of all this rubbish? This is this as head? Hi! Yeah, they are playing the mask, calling to attack the bus. Here, my own. Make sure his own does not mean my own. Wake up! This is not a night for sleeping and snoring like a cow. Please sit up, let us talk. What is it? I am Rabas in the compound. Something worse than that is about to happen. In fact, it's already happening. Eh? Let us discuss on how to stop it. It's very important. Or is it about your encounter with my niece Ogonna, which you told me earlier in the day? Yes. Salome. Salome. There is no need for you or anybody on our side to get worked up over that. Eh? There is no need. Look. The night of food, love, care and affection by you and I and our friends and relatives all under our influence. What do you expect? The human survival instinct lives in everyone. She had to survive. Look out for my husband. Ogona is not only after survival. She is starting up a business. She said so to me. Salome. How is Ogonna starting petty trading? Eh? Enough reason for you and I to be awake far deep into this night. Eh? My husband. Ogonna is like the proverbial snake cut into two, whose wounded and angry head is more dangerous to people that wounded it than when it was intact more than before she needs to be properly checked every step of the way or or what or what <laughs> i'm gonna return to this compound with over 52 bars of yam and a basket full of fresh tomatoes if she can make such progress in just one day, just one move, <laughs> that means she is dangerous to our plan against her and her brother. 
do not underestimate an angry and determined woman. I see. I see. I think you have. I think you are making a point. Oh. Yeah. What do you suggest that we do? Good. Now, we have to... Once I secure a place in the market to display my yams, I will hand them over to one of the yam sellers to help me with the actual selling and then return for the tomatoes. Yes, because they are perishable in nature. I have to give them more time in the market. If the information I gathered last week while I was doing market survey is anything to go by, I will easily sell off the entire yams and tomatoes today and at a good profit too. With that, I wouldn't need to subject myself to the stressful job I did at Garrickin Market yesterday. I'll just go there, pay the boys to do the offloading for me, add whatever I make at the end of the day to the money I'll realize from selling these items and buy even more items to sell here in the village. God, please help me. Who did that? You are under arrest. For what? When we get to the station, you will know. Officer! Sir. Arrest her! Let's go. Wait! You can't just come into someone's compound and arrest a person. What did I do? Like I said, when we get to the station, you will know. Let's go! Please. Madam, please, I wouldn't like to use force on you. Let's go. Move! Move! How can you just come into somebody's let's house? Go, madam, let's go. You're your Officer. You haven't told me what I did. You haven't said anything. You're just keeping me here for nothing. Is that how you people do here? I said you have not told me what I Shut did. Shut up! This is a police station. And you're making noise. Stop committing crime. You call me and start disturbing me with your noise. Who is making that noise? Who is disturbing the peace of the station? Sir, is this criminal or not? Okay. Sir, it, it... Ah, Uncle, until you are here, please, can you talk to them? Tell them to release me. I have not done anything, and they should apologize for keeping me here. Apologize to you for being a yam and demanding thief, or what? I am not a thief, Uncle, Auntie. Are both of you behind this? Why? Auntie Solomon, I told you where I got the yam from. I told you. told me nothing about that. You only said if I don't find my business, you are going to break my head and set the compound on fire. Me! It's not a crime. First of all, ask me. It's a lie, sir. It's not you. Are a no, 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 no. You are lying. You are a criminal. I, 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 why? You are lying against me. Why, why are you doing this, Auntie Salome? You know the truth. Why are you saying I, 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 I threatened to do something to you? Officer, you have been criminal. Hmm? We have done our own ass. So you do this. Remember uh, the last discussion. It's alright. Have a nice day, sir. Right. Officer, please listen to me. I'm telling you the truth. It is me here, please. She just lied against me and I don't know why. Eh? Please, those things I bought with my hard-earned money. And they're perishables. Please let me go and sell them. The market will soon be in full swing. I need to sell them and make my money, please. Sergeant. Sir. Take her statement and do the need for it. Yes, sir. What is the need for? Give you a beautiful room in our cell. Now that you know, I beg, write statement here for you. Thank you, John.
妈<笑> ，sorry， 妈，妈，自己 to tell you people the truth， I am not happy。哎， how can you be down to this extent that you people just uh, uh, hid it from me？ 哎， why are you enjoying it？ No， my son， Collins， I wasn't enjoying it。Neither was your sister。哈， it's just ordinary malaria， and it's not the first time either of us is having malaria。And um, the drug the local maxima mixes for us usually takes care of it. Who was going to, I mean, who was to know that this case will be different? Yes, it is not as if we hid it from you. It's just that we felt it was what the little money we had with us could sort out up until I noticed that the drugs I got for her wasn't doing anything for her. She was okay last night too. Only for me to find out this morning that when she w went to the bathroom, she fainted. That was when I had to call you to inform you. Anyway, um, it's alright. You know, thank God now we now know what is wrong with you. And the drugs that um, will take care of it. Hmm? You have it here. Yeah, but Mama, you need to worry less. You know, having malaria and typhoid combined with high BP it can be very dangerous to your health. Remember what the doctor said while he was pre prescribing these drugs? Yes. Eh? I understand the fact that we have a lot going on in this family. But o Ogonna and myself, we are trying our best to change the story. Please. I'll try myself. I'll try. I'm talking about rising BP. I will need not right when I wake up every morning to see your uncle and the wife occupying my husband's <sighs> Enjoying his world while we are here. Mama, please. Uh -uh. You have endured for nine years. There's nothing you cannot endure anymore. You're talking as if today is the first time Uncle Lokaf and his wife are doing this, this kind of thing to you. It is not. They know that you've been ill for five days. They didn't do anything. They didn't come to ask you how far or how you're doing. Even when you passed out, I called for help. They didn't come out, but they heard me. So don't bother yourself. They will never change. There's no miracle that will make these people change. For nine years, it's not possible. You can't kill yourself over this matter. God will make a way for us. Amen. The same God that provided for Daddy and you will provide for us now. Amen. Please. My God will judge them. Amen. God will judge him. The God of the widow, the cripple, will judge you. No, it's okay. Hmm? It's all right. Just, just forget about uncle and auntie. Hmm? You know, I kept something away from you people, but um, I think it's best I say it now. Maybe it will help your mood. I'll be due for my settlement. Hey! <laughs> yes, sir. It's your food. I'm telling you. Hey, thank God. My uncle said thank when he God. returns from his trip to China, he will say to me, and that is in hey. two weeks. Hey! Yes. Oh, God. <sighs> So in two weeks' time, every suffering in this family will go and I will be the ogre of my <laughs> So worry less, Mama. Hmm? Serious business, so give me your car key. Be family. Where your phone? Where your phone? Bring down. Give me, give me, give me. Correct, I've been there. No look at our face, so where that money? You did there? Oh, yeah. No, no. Close, close. I said, bend down, bend down. No look us.
happened? What happened? Eh? Collins, what happened? What happened? Calm down, Collins. What happened now? I am dead. What happened? Calm down. Calm down. What happened? You left the shop earlier today and told me that our master sent you for an important errand. What happened? Why are you looking so devastated and talking like this? Eh? Calm down now. Calm down. I was robbed. So tell me, what are you talking about? What were you robbed of? Am robbers took fifty thousand dollars belonging to Oga from me. Fifty thousand. Collins, Collins, tell me you are joking, eh? You are not telling me that you were duped by fraudsters. Instead, you are telling me you were robbed by armed robbers, eh? What happened? How did you come about such huge sum of money? Anozie, before Oga traveled to China, uh -huh. he gave me some blank checks. Yes. And he told me that he, he was going to call me, yeah, and tell me how, how to go about it. Mm -hmm. You know, in case we have any business deal, then you tell me what to do. Yes. So Oga called me. And he said I should go to the bank and withdraw fifty thousand dollars. Okay. I why I went to the bank. You know I wanted to take the equivalent, but they said they don't have naira. Mm -hmm. So I collected the money in dollars. Uh -huh. You understand? Yes. I, I decided to go and meet all these local book. Uh, uh, but the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You know I went there. I changed the money mm -hmm. and I was taking the money to the man who said I should go and meet. Uh -huh. When I'm robbers accosted me, just like that, they collected everything. God, and I'm telling you, God, God. Have you told God about this? I told him. He uh, it happened. I called him. Uh, uh -huh. And what did he say? He, he just said I should go back home and ended the call. Uh, I am finished. How will I explain this to my mom and my sister? I don't know. Hey! Who? Oh, oh. oh God. Pick it, pick it. I should pick it. Uh, yes, pick it. I put on speaker. Just pick it. Pick it, uh, pick it. Hello, Oga. Oh um. Oga, I'm, I'm very close to the house, in our street. Oh, Oga, please, I am innocent. I, I can swear with anything you want me to swear. You were just about to kill yourself. Man, <laughs> just fine, it's fine now. Huh? Uh, I know, sir. Sir, I hope no goose was damaged this time by those of loaders. No, sir. Collins and I monitored them very strictly. Huh? In fact, before he asked me to bring the car to you at the airport, two continents were already uploaded. Good. <laughs> he was already recording everything when I left for the airport. That's good. Thank you, sir. Always a thoughtful boy, Collins. We are sure going to miss him for his dedication and diligence. I hope you've learned all you need to learn from him because in three days' time, I will settle him and he will leave. <laughs> yes, sir. I have. Good. Collins is someone who doesn't hide anything from people working under him. In fact, he treats all of us as if we are his blood brothers. <laughs> that is the secret to the sources. That is the secret to this success in my house. You see, that was what made Collins learn so much from me for the past five years plus. I hope you will be very good or better than him once he leaves in three days' time. Yes, sir. I will. <laughs> of course, I will. That's good. What? What is this, sir? Nothing, just mind your business. Uh, I'm not saying. Sir? Did um, uh, Collins travel to his village where I was away? No, sir. I, I, I am not aware if I thought he did. Are you sure? Hello. This is Ikena. 
Yes, Ikena Okezie. Uh, this number sent me a text message and I wanted to... Lisa, so we thank God for joining us. Sit down. Collins, tell me the truth. Did you travel to your village 11 days ago? Oh, you seemed shocked by the question. Why? Um, yes, I am. I'm shocked, sir. Because I never told anybody else. In other words, you traveled to your village since then. And you and I talk every day, at least twice a day. And you never bother to mention it to me. Why? I'm sorry, sir. That's okay, that's okay. That's what I need to know. Relax. Relax. Let's discuss about my business while I was away. Feel free. So I am confused. Because normally we discuss such things with the records of our business activities while you are away. Eh? Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, my bad. I forgot to tell you to bring them along when I called you. It doesn't matter. Just give me a general overview. And when the record is available, you can give me the blueprint. Eh? Actually, sir, we, we, we had uh... Oh, officers. That was very fast. This is the first suspect. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Arrest him. Do whatever you must to make him tell you where he kept my 50,000 US dollars. Take him away. You are a disappointment. You are a disappointment. <laughs> officer, try and understand, officer. Wait, wait. Let me explain something to you. See, <laughs> Mama, uh, please come and let me explain to these people that I'm not a thief. I have explained to you. This is my mom, my sister. I'm not a thief. I'm innocent. Collins, what are you talking about, officer? What's going on? Remove that thing from my son's hand. Remove it. What is going on? Somebody say something. Why is he in cuffs? Eh? It is only rogues and hardened criminals that, 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 that wear handcuffs. Please take it off. Please, he's innocent. See, they know me very well. They can tell the number of hair on my head. Please, I have never stolen in my life. Trust me, please. Are you done with your drama? What drama? Officer, take this thing off now. Why are you so cool? Let me take him in handcuffs. You are gone, all right? Yes. You are under arrest for conspiring with your brother to steal his. Master fifty thousand dollars. Me, officer. With master. Arrest her. With wait, 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 wait. dollars. Ah, no, 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 officer. With no, master. No, no, officer, listen, no, officer. There's a mix of them there. We have the right to remain silent. No, 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 no officer. officer. Or do here will be used against you in the court of law. Ha! Arrest her. Officer, see, you are missing everything. Officer, wait, officer, wait. Officer, let me explain something to you, officer. No, no, officer, you are missing. You are getting this from them. I am not. I am not a thief. Please remove this thing, remove this thing. Officer! Hey! Mama! Wait, wait. Mama! Wait. Wait. Mama! 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 I'm sure this is not what they told me the police are getting me. Shut up! Stop! 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 Wait! 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 What's wrong? Are you ready to? 
Tell me now. Hey, you, what, what, what else would you want us to tell you? The truth. We have told you everything since you arrested us. How can you be doing this to people? You you watch them, they, their mother die in their hands because of you. Yes. We are not the one that killed your mother, right? Heart attack killed your mother. Heart attack. <laughs> Whose activities gave her the heart attack? You just came to our house. She wasn't having the heart attack, but it was you. Officer, my sister was in the village when they actually robbed me of this yes. money. My question is, how is she connected to the crime? Why are you torturing her? I'm the only person involved and you are doing your investigation. She has nothing to do with it. I'm trying to understand. She doesn't have anything to do with it. Oh, you think we are here beating about the ghost for some kind of fun? Or you just because we are naturally wicked? Okay. Read the message someone sent to your girl on his way from the airport. Read it out. This. Your uncle, Mr. Okafo, a worm. Now, what have you to say about it? Hey. Okafo! Okafo! Where is Okafo and his wife? Okafo! Where is Okafo? Please, come outside. Called us. Yes. yes. Okafo. Despite our plea to take this corpse to the mortuary so that we can plan for her burial and have our children around to perform the dust to dust ritual for her. Yes. You refuse. And you insisted that she must be buried today. Why? Yes, I did. I did. And the reason is so simple. And you all know it. Ogonda and her younger brother Collins were arrested for armed robbery. In case you don't know, it is an offense that is punishable by death. And that means they will never ever return to a game day. Ever again. But. But. If by the stroke of luck. They do. God forbid. God I forbid my dear. God forbid. Mm. Mm. Hi. Come Listen. Elders. All of you. All of you know my stand. On grace presence. In my family. And not even her death has changed that. No, that has happened. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's okay. 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 It's I will withdraw the consent I have given for this heap of rubbish to be buried in my father's compound. Huh? Please, please, my husband. I will do it though. Sir, Calm down. I will do it. Don't provoke him. You must not provoke him. No, come to that. Hey. Oh, careful, please, calm down. We are not here for that. We're here to tell you that the grave is ready. Oh, yes. So, does it require my presence or the presence of my wife that the grave is ready? Go and bury her. Eh? Look, I showed you where to dig the grave. I provided the drinks. 
according to tradition, to the great diggers and their supervisors. What have I not done? Eh? Go on. Wait, wait. Eh, look, I made it very clear that my wife and I will not perform the dust to dust ritual. I said it. I said it. I made it clear. Even at gunpoint, we will not do it. Wait. I hope you are not trying to tell us to carry her miserable corpse eh? to the grave. No. Hey, hey, hey. You will carry it. You will carry it. Dead man. You will carry it. No, 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 no. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, careful. Please mind your language. In our customs and tradition, respect for the dead is a must. Yes. The dead must be respected. Yes. So it is. <laughs> so it is. Well, we are not here for all this. We are here to tell you that the grave is ready. And where is the coffee now? Coffee? Coffee. Oh, it's a legging. Oh, it's not coffee. Coffee, what? Yes, coffee. The dead are buried with coffee. Yes. Of course. Yes. Oh, have you forgotten that? My wife, my love. My partner, please, don't argue with this people. Don't. You want coffee, right? Yes. yes. Wait. wait. I will do everything. Just wait. <laughs> Coffin oh, for Greece. This is the coffin for Matt. Matt. Okafo. This is Matt and not coffin. Do you understand me? This is Matt but not coffin. We need a coffin to bury Grace. Hey! Umunakwe. Yes, that's my name. My late grandparents were buried with mats. Deeply wrapped. Mm -hmm. And I am sure that was the case with your late grandparents. Is it a lie? Eh. look. Tradition has made it clear that it is what one has that he brings for the burial of his loved one. I have provided what I have. As far as coffee is concerned, I have provided what I have. Nam, Imaga, you have tried. If you well like. done, my husband. Well done. Abu Nafacho, if you like, bury her. If you don't like, leave her here. But let me warn you if you leave her here, I will gather her corpse and take you to the village square where it will stay rotten and decompose. Okay, for your hey. wicked man. Hey. 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 My wife, please, I'm tired. Let mm. us go inside.
I was in SS2 and my sister in SS1 in Layula Jesuit College. When the accident that killed my father and crippled my mother happened, my father was a businessman, a millionaire. We were just one happy family. We had hopes and dreams. Dreams to continue our studies in Harvard University. The tire busted and my father's car left the highway and got plunged into the valley. All our dreams and hopes ended just like that. My father's older brother, Uncle Nokafu, who at that time was managing one of my father's filling stations in a nearby, very close to the village. Everything my father had was actually handed over to him with a written agreement saying that he was going to manage them, pay for my mother's medical bills and see us through school. We had no choice. We agreed to that agreement because at that point, my mother was still in the hospital, she was in coma, and the doctor was not even giving us any sign of hope. The condition that lasted for eight months, when she gained her consciousness, she was crippled of total memory loss. That lasted for 17 months, while you guys were busy badly with the consequences. Your uncle was was busy compounding your woes, saying that uh, your, 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 your mother's marriage was illegitimate, that your mother's parents refused your mother bright price from the father. For that, your parents look to just and give birth to you. After some years, they returned and still did not legitimize their marriage. Your uncle capitalized on that and, and convinced the elders to make sure they deny your mother of your father's property. They even deny your mother's, uh, 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 deny your mother the house in the village, branding you guys bastards. He refused to pay your school fees. He even went ahead to, to he was even thinking of driving people out of the house. He only stopped because being a male child, your tradition allows you to stay there, uh, but you cannot inherit your father's property until you are 10, uh, 28. And then you were just 17. Yes, he bribed uh, 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 your kinsmen and those who couldn't bribe, he, he, he threatened them. He even gave the church a huge sum of amount to make them turn their back on you. So is that the story you, uh, you people were trying to tell me? I, I'm, I'm surprised you remember the nightmare we went through. For the past three days that we've been here, all we could think of is when he just decided to forget about us. Up until three days ago, who was responsible for your mother's upkeep, including yours? Me. When my late friend from your village brought Collins to me, begging me to, to train him and put him in, 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 my, in my line of business, even brought your plot to me, which of the area? of your needs as a family friend in I know it. Tell me, hmm? did I ever complain? No. Did I ever ask for anything we talk on? No. And that is why we called you here to talk to you. I remember when you told our mother that you were going to take her as your own because you had lost your mother a few years back. And you promised you were going to take care of her and, and do to her what you would have done to your mother. You lived up to your words to her and even us. But I don't know why you just decided to change. I, I don't know what we've done. We've not done anything. Why you decide to listen to somebody else and not us? When your brother and your sister and you know what we can do. Just because of a text message, you're turning your back on us. And you're the reason this whole thing just, just led to our mother's death. How can you do that? We are innocent. Collins and I had no such discussion. You can't just base your argument on a text message. We are not thieves. We, 
There's no way we could have just had a hand in that. And it's for the not... first time since Collins has been staying with me, he left my house, go straight to the village to pick you guys a visit without telling me or any other of my boys. That was not the first time your mother was falling in. Why I'm why I was outside the country. Now, in all these cases, did I ever stop you to go to the village to carry mother out to the hospital? No. no. I never did. Did I ever complain the time you spent and my own money you spent? No. So why did you not have to sneak out this time? Hmm? And a few days after that, you get robbed of my 50,000 US dollars. Eh? And a few days to your own settlement. Uh, oh, Ghana, please answer this question. If I have two of you, if you are in my shoe and you receive such test, such test message from a, a Mr. Okafor, who will you believe? <laughs> this is not tears. Because if it is tears, I will show you more tears. Please, if you want peace, give me my 15,000 US dollars. And I will release you guys in the next minute. I will even go ahead to settle colleagues and give your, your, your mother a fitting barrier. But if you think that this is your who die emotional tears will blackmail me to forgive two of you to set you free, <laughs> that, that will land you in the prison in the next minute. Please don't know. Your uncle and his wife have agreed to testify against you. Hmm? Yes, so you don't know. Even the police they are processing your case. They are processing your case for the court appearance. Two of that. Two of you. <laughs> you know what we can do, eh? You know, we did not have any people that don't have any please. <laughs>
now while I'm here. I'm here to strike a deal with you guys. A deal? Yes. I've discussed with the policemen and I have their consent. This is the deal. Two of you go and beg your uncle. Beg him to release the document to smooth for that property. Dispose them and raise my money and I will release you and settle colleagues. Well, now, uh, all the hands of written documents saying that I, I will not have access to my father's property until I am 28. Then, uh, right now, I am 26. Get your uncle to help you raise the money and pay me anyhow you can. Else, blame yourself and your uncle for whatever happens to you here in Scott. Not me. This is the best deal anybody in your condition can ever ask for. My colleague and I were shocked when we had it. In case you don't know, we are preparing to ask for the death sentence once the case goes to court. But with the alarming rate of violent crimes in the state and the governor's tough stand in such cases, you won't stand a chance. Trust me. Le Waono, Le Papayarin Squad. Officer, <clears throat> thank you for that. See, if they accept, hmm, take them to their uncle, eh, get the document. And when they are ready, when they have the document, call me. I will help them before buyers for the properties. If they refuse, make sure this case goes to court and count on me for any amount at all. I will spend it. Okay? I'm out of here. Wait, please. Do you? Uncle, well, that's why we're here. I, I don't know where you're driving at. You said your ogre said he would drop all the charges against you. If you're able to raise and return the money that you stole from him. If you ask me, that is a very easy demand, especially for people that actually stole the money. Uncle, we're not thieves and you know that. No such discussion ever took place, like the one you sent in the text message to, 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 to his ogre. Are you trying to call him a, a liar? Eh? My dear, my dear. Allow her. She can call me anything she wants. It is not a problem. It does not remove anything from my body. No. It does not. After all, we are not uh, the people wearing what the police. <laughs> the police people we call. Federal <laughs> silver bangle. <laughs> She's free to say whatever she wants. Um, I, I really don't understand um, what I have to do with this uh, deal that you have with your boss. Uncle, I swear with my life, I did not steal that money. You swear with your life? Do you have a life? Thief? We had an agreement concerning my father's asset that you will hand everything over to me when I turn 28 now I am 26 what it means is that we will be executed for a crime we did not commit if nothing is done please this deal is like a miracle from God miracle Look at me. how just now auntie said I was asking me if I had a life. The answer is no. I do not have a life. We do not have a life unless the debacle that placed this course in our hands is removed at once. We lost our lives to the misfortune that killed our father, our mother, and now landed us in the police cell. Please, I beg of you. All we from you is just to give us the document 
packing up our father as assets so that we can dispose of them and raise money so that I can settle my ogre and we can have our freedom. Or could I beg you, if not for anything, for your brother's sake, your brother's sake, our father, please. Honey, can you make out anything from all that is saying here? Because I cannot. I only had an agreement, 28, 26, father's assets and documents. What agreement is he talking about? Did his poor father leave any asset that I don't know about? I don't know. I don't really know. That is why I said you should. I asked you if you can make out anything from what he said. Honey, I go and get these children. I ain't too big things. Talking about properties and assets. I know that your father died a poor man. He left nothing behind. How many times will I tell you? Your father did not leave anything behind. And then agreement. What agreement? <sighs> I did not enter into any agreement with anybody. Not to talk of your father. I did not. Oh, wait. <laughs> Officer. Officer. Um. Did you people hit him so hard during interrogation to justify this uh, madman ranting that he has been ranting since he came into this place about asset and uh, liability and property and what? Hey, uncle, this is a joke, isn't it? You are pulling our legs, aren't you? Ogonna, I did not get close to you. Talk less of pulling your leg. Yeah? Officers. You see that gate? It is not locked. Hmm? I am going inside to take a nap. You see, I'm getting old. Let me go and rest. Oh. Let me go and take a nap. Okay. Auntie. Auntie. Please. You, you know what we are talking about now, eh? Please help us. The evidence is inside that box. My mother decided to hide those documents inside there because she foresaw that something like this might happen yeah. based on the way our uncle has been treating us. Sadly. Please, just go through it and you will see that what we're saying is the truth. Yes. Sir, please just check. And immediately you just see, you just go right away and arrest them. Enough is enough. Arrest them. See everything there. What are the documents? Inside the box. Officer, please check. Check, check, check where? Did you see anything? <gasps> the box is empty. Thank you for coming. fighting children. Barista, thank, thank you. Thank you, Barista. Thank you for coming. Yes, our elders. Our elders. Okay. Our elders. Yes. Please, we need you to save us. Uh -huh. Save us from our own. He's taking everything that belongs to us. Now he wants to kill us. Yes. Eh? Tell him. Let him do what is right. For our parents' sake. Yeah, that's it. My elders, please. please help us. Look, look at me. I'm no longer calling this again. Just look at me like my father and help us. Please talk to my uncle then. Talk to, talk to him. Is that why you invited us such urgency? The atmosphere looks so tense here. Okafo, what is wrong again? Let them talk. I think you can talk. Eh? 
It's like you went to learn a theater arts in, in the police set. Yeah. Yeah? That's what you went to learn. So this, dramatizing. This, like a, this, is a, this is a drama to you, Abi. Yes, the drama to you, right? Help us. Please, stop. Please stop this silly exchange and talk to Ross. Why did you invite us here? Was there any such agreement? Oh. Not at all. There was no agreement to that. Hey. There was no there was no any agreement, oh, man. You know, man. Uh, 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 no, she, no, she, no, she, no, both of you have nothing to say now. Please, please. Thank you for wasting our time. I bet you, you will pay for this when we get to the. Take them away. Take them away. Take them away. Move them. Please. I said move them. Go. Go. But you know everything, man. Why are you pointing me? 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 Why are you I want to draw the case against them. You said what? You heard me. I want to drop the case against them. But under one condition. Condition? Mom. I am back. My freedom was exchanged with Collins's sufferings and servitude. I am so sad to tell you this, but there was nothing I could do. The only option left was our execution. And that was what Uncle Okafor wanted. Colin said that justice, hope, and miracle is for the living. And I believe him. That is why I'm here. I am here to make sure that all the sufferings and hardship Uncle Loka for put us through, including this shameless and miserable way you were buried, does not go unpunished. Do you know he went as far as making sure that all the witnesses that were there when he signed the agreement with Collins, denied it ever happened. He wants to take possession of everything you and dad worked for all the years. But I won't let it happen. That is why I am here. I will make sure that everything that belongs to us is given back to us. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I am sure that I will make it happen. Failure and giving up, they're not just an option. It is either I succeed or I die. With this sand from your grave in my hand, I swear. My husband, if you need my own, no more. Money is good. Hey, sir. Stop 
<laughs> I don't know why where you're coming from. That you're smelling like that. But whatever it is, it is good for you. Very good for you. The only thing I want to tell you is that you are no longer welcome in this country. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm. Meaning? Meaning that the work of charity that made us to accommodate you, a working bad luck like you, your miserable mother and your arm robber brother is over. So you go in there, pack, what, pack whatever that is yours and leave. If you have anything to worth packing, you know, eh? if you need anywhere to stay, face your grandparents' house where your miserable mother's carcass was buried. Hmm? I bet my husband to allow you stay there. And he kindly accepted. Enano? So better run in there now. Pick whatever you need. Oh yeah, face that side before he changes his mind. I throw you to the streets. Hmm? Where you roam and die like your miserable mother. Are you, Pama. Are you done talking? Are you expecting me to give you a reply? I don't have anything to tell you because I don't have any reply to give you. You won't have reply now. No, I will not get Uncle Okafo, this compound belongs to my father. Deny it all you can. It is the truth. And by the way, you're standing by his brief side. I am back, which is the truth. I am back for justice. I'm going to fight for it with the last strength I have. It may take me years, but trust me, I will achieve it. Try forcing me out, the news will be all over our dead bodies. Let us go and continue. Don't worry. Obviously, I'm looking for an anti saloon. We were not powered into letting me stay on at that compound by my threat to them that day as I had, I had taught. It is now clear that while I was busy in the past few weeks thinking of how to go about stopping them and freeing Collins, they were busy planning on how to frustrate me. I cannot fight and stop them from here, and I cannot allow them to stop me either by letting the current situation stand. No, never. I will do whatever it takes to leave this cell. I will build the business I have started. I will succeed in it and raise money to free Collins and hire a lawyer to fight them and get my father's assets back from them. I will and I must. You asked to see me. Yes. Have you investigated the claims I made in my statement? Are you now giving the police orders from the tone I just detected from your voice? I demand to be taken to court. Or I will sue you for keeping me beyond the legal limit without charging me. And what is the meaning of that? What you just heard, sir. Investigate the claims I made in my statement and free me or charge me to court. And you have less than 24 hours to do that. Oh. The fury of hell is nothing near the fury of a wounded woman. This is the last time I'm going to speak to you in just mere words. Are you threatening us? I am just giving you a forewarning of what I will do if you do not charge me to court. You rascal. Who do you think you know? Wait and see. Please take me back to my cell. Sergeant. Oga, okay. take her back. What, is this? what do you think you can do? Let me tell you, see, you are a criminal and you will continue to remain a criminal. There's nothing you can do. Nonsense. So, sir, the last time a suspect spoke that kind of word before me was when I joined the police. The officer in charge and our superiors called her love. And the next morning, what we found in our cell was her corpse. She committed suicide. Officer, nothing of such will happen in this case. Listen, let me tell you. Ogonna, that I know, loves life more than life itself. Hmm? Listen to me. 
she will only talk and nothing will be done. I can assure you. She said that the fury of hell is nothing to compare to the fury of a wounded lady. And I totally agree with her. With the much I have heard about her story with you, she is a badly wounded lady. From my professional experience, I can tell that nobody can produce such a woman, no matter how well he thinks he knows her. So, what are you trying to say now? Everybody involved in the case I, I told you earlier was dismissed from the police and uh, jailed too. My men and I do not want to end up that same way because of this case. Don't tell me, officer, that you are planning to let her go just like that. Remember, I am paying you 500,000 Naira just for this case, Inspector Chim. Our careers are much more important to us than such money, sir. I'm sorry. You are sorry. Come on, sir. You told us that your aim in this case is to have us build a tight case against sir. Take her to court and jail her so that you can easily get her poisoned in the prison yard. I just told you that the statement she wrote, despite our best effort to get her implicated in it was so legally sound that it will be useless trying to use this against her in the court of law. Even if you can bribe a friendly magistrate to dance to your team, such is not a strong point to back on these days with numerous human rights lawyers out there waiting for a case like this to shine with. Make any wrong move that will get their attention. And you will not only be forced to return her wealth to her and her brother, but we will also end up in jail, most certainly. God forbid. God forbid, Inspector. Listen. Even if you are going to release her, do not do it in such a way that it will seem as if it is her threat that made you to release her. Because that would embolden her. And I wouldn't like it. And me too. Don't worry, I have a plan. Tell me about it. We want to take her to the place she claims she wants and legally go to Yam's name to my toes, pretending to be investigating her claims as she wanted. In the process, we will try our best to make her make one incriminating move or say something we can use against her in a court. Well, if she does any of those, good. If not, we will release her and still save face for ourselves. Well, it's okay. It's all right. Hmm? But if you have to do that, you have to do it tomorrow. Yes. I need to take care of something in case all these things ends up in her release. And hmm. what do you intend to do? Ah, officer. <laughs> Let me not bore you with the details, eh? Let me not bore you with the details. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Eh? Thank you. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes. That is what I will do. If I cannot eliminate her, Have I made a mistake by threatening them? This is way into the next day and none of them has come to talk to me or at least give me water to drink. Is it possible that they knew I was just acting yesterday and decided to call my bluff and punish me? God please, what I did was my last card and I need to get out of here. Don't let it backfire on me please, save me.
That is him there. That is Alaji, sir. Alaji, please. Please, come and tell them that I'm not a thief. They are just parading me everywhere because they saw yam and tomato with me. Tell them that you are the one that supplied those things to me. Eh? Are you allergic, sir? Yes. You are allergic, sir. Never. Can I get a hand? Can I not get hands? And the crest? I tell you, I don't tell you, sir. I carry tomato. I buy tomato. I buy yam. You carry, carry gun. The position. Allergic. Tell me what I need to know before I count you as an accomplice in the stealing. Move now, Obanka. Carry on, carry. Please, <laughs> 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 Yes, sir. I'm trying to select the strong one. Yes, sir. I hope those jams are sweet yam. I don't want to. Uh... Can you take more yams now? Take more yams. Hi. Nah, I need this thing is going to ah, it's going to stay your leg. Good. Good. Let's grind the tomatoes for her. Honey, face the yam, face the yam. Do this tomato well. Yes. Let's go.
Yeah. Sorry. Hmm? What are really wicked? Huh? Your uncle and I were inside when it happened. There was nothing we could have done. Hey! Man, you go, they go. Hey! Yes, so. Hey! Yes, so. We were inside when it happened. Honey? Sorry. So, good. Mysteriously jumped the fence. Or better still, he broke the gate. Came to this house. Destroyed my yams and my tomatoes. Hey! Goats came into this house. Destroyed my yams instead of eating them. Hey. And you say there was nothing you could have done. Yes, yeah, so. There is nothing. There was nothing we could have done. What are you trying to say? Hey. To who? To the goats standing before me? The goats that didn't eat my yam but destroyed them? Hmm? Ogona does not have anything to say. But I promise you, Ogona has something to do about this wickedness. <laughs> Where is she going to? I told you, I told you that when she comes back eh, and see what has happened to her yam and, and her tomato, look, she will look keen for anything that she has been planning up her sleeves. Oh, eh? I told you, she is she going to? She is going to her mother's grave to cry. <laughs> Let's up and find him. Let's up and find him. Come on, go, 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 go to the. Yeah, you honest, too much. Leave me, wicked man. You needed to have witnessed it. The commissioner ordered us to release her and report to his office immediately. He only stopped short of flogging us like erring children. In fact, on the orders of the Alahaji's DIG's brother, we are placed on disciplinary probation as we speak. Any other such report against us ever again, either by Ogonna or any other person, will see us fired from the police and charged to court too. This happened before ordinary Ogonna. Did she follow you to the commissioner's office and witness what you just told me? No. We have already released her before going to see our commissioner. But what difference does it make? Anyhow you look at it, all of us and our careers are now at the mercy of that little girl. All because of you. Inspector Chime, you don't have to talk like this. Hey, there is a way we can end all this once and for all end it once and for all how and uh, we can uh, arrange uh, uh, an accident uh, uh, we can arrange an accident you see if a uh, ogonna dies you know, accidentally uh, Anything she has against you, or me, or my wife, all of them will only die with her. It will all be over. You are a devil. You are a wicked man. In fact, you are a criminal. Officer! Officer, come and detain this idiot here. Please, please. Please. I beg you. I beg you. God's sake. I beg you, please. Don't, 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 don't say this. I, I swear. I, 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 did I say anything? I, I'm sorry. I, if I even think of Ogonna in my thoughts, arrest me. But now, please, eh? Let, let, let. Just go, just go, just go! Get out of me, please. Eh?
Welcome. Thank you. I knew you would come. Once you get my text message. I also knew that you would branch here to see me once I ask you to. I hope you came alone. Sure. And no one, no one knows whom you were coming to meet or what you are going to discuss with him. Hmm? Yes. Very well then. Sit down. Sit. Let's... Hmm? While we discuss. I'm not interested in your drink, Mr. Okafo. In fact, I didn't come here to sit down and discuss with you. I already know the story of your evil deeds against Collins and his family since his father died. Yes. As far as that family is concerned, you and your wife can be best described as walking evils. Yes. So as you can see, I didn't come here because of the test message you sent me, containing uh, the wicked conjecture against Collins and his sister. Because they or night I rather believe the lie from Collins' mouth than the truth from your evil soul. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, why did you come here? To demand for my 50,000 US dollars, of course. But you obviously hired armed robbers to, to, to rob Collins, my boy. And obviously set him up to deprive him from his eminent settlement by me. Is that what you think? It is what I know, Mr. Okafor. Yes, it is what I know. Listen, Collins is a well brought up God. He cannot go so low to steal from anyone. Rather, neither me, his boss. He, he, he rather die a destitute. So as you can see, he's no getting near an evil dog like you, Mr. Okafor. However, let me tell you, I have decided to forget about the money and settled Collins, make him the order that I have planned. And obviously you go ahead to ask for Gona's hand in marriage. That will not be possible. Who is going to stop me, Mr. Okafo? You? <laughs> Come on, dear. This time you misfire. You and your wife better give me my 50,000 US dollars. Or you will hear good news about Collins' settlements. And Ogun and I and Ogun's marriage from the prison. Or you prefer me to call the police to arrest and beat the truth out of you. You're correct. You're very correct. I took the money from Ikenna. I I was the one who hired the boys that took the money from him. I, I'm sorry. I I would return all your monies to you, everything, but before that, I want to tell, I want to tell you a story. You are testing my patience, Mr. Okafo. Same here, Ikenna, same here. If you make me walk out of this place in anger, you will be facing the hangman sooner than later. I will not warn you again. Neither will I, Mr. Ikenna. Now, my story.
story story eight years ago your elder brother kalunta ran mad from the university in his final year He was caught having sex with Ezichi, your imbecile younger sister, by your mother. But she made a mistake of attacking them and he strangulated her. You sent Kalunta to a metal home. Buried your mother. And aborted Ezichi's pregnancy. When in a few weeks, you discovered that she was pregnant for Kalunta. You covered up murder and incest. Why? Why? But but that's not the real story. That's not the real issue. No, 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 no. You understand that. Recently, Kalunta ran away from the mental home with a greater addiction for every chief womanhood. Dandi, a common village criminal who was already Warming Ezechi's private arena, though secretly, caught them in the act and recorded everything. Dandy tried to blackmail you for a huge sum of money and you silenced him. Unknown <sighs> to you, Dandy's friend recorded everything. And with the sex tape Dandy had given to him earlier, it was easy. It was easy for him to get you to send him to South Africa. And with $20,000 to go with it. But! He arrived South Africa to a hail of bullets from your drug business partners. End of story. Or so you thought true or false. Ha <laughs> ha.
how do you manage to know about all this? I mean, I mean how, how do you come in contact with Joe? Because Joe gave me the original copies of those video clips before he left for South Africa. And I, I personally burned them. I destroyed them before me. So how, how do you manage to know all this? Double cross is a common decimal in the criminal underworld. And he can now. Nobody. No one. He has monopoly of it. Do you still want your money back? Are you still going to call the police to arrest me? What do you want? <laughs> what do I want? Ha! What do I want? 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 Mr. Okafo is not going to make it difficult for you. I want... Last time we intervened to black men into doing their family office and Dr. Collins and his small family. The boy that sat me so truthfully that his poor mother and sister became victims of my personal mistakes and tragedy. Right inside this room, I agreed to join forces with their evil enemy to turn their world upside down just to save my neck. But today again, same devil has some, someone be here for what he called an emergency. Okay, I am waiting. I don't understand why you say release Collins. What is going on? Our partnership is over. It's over. I want to make peace with my nephew and my niece. That's what is going on. Oh. And what if I say no? You can now. That will send you to the executioner's chamber. Faster than you can imagine. You remember, just remember. I still have the murder and incest tapes with me. Yes. Really? Yes. Wait right here.
and I have a video record of you confessing before me how you robbed me of my money, blackmailed me with physical evidence. You recorded this? Come on, Mr. Okafo. The bureaucracy is a common decimal in the criminal world, and no one, no one has a monopoly of it. Your very word before me here, this living room, some weeks ago. Well, you said whatever we had going on had just ended. Well, to me, I'm saying an emphatic no to that because we are just starting. You started this game with me, and I will end it. How and when? You watch and see. Something happened today. Yes. A very senior police officer. Allergy size then. Come on. My boy kid him on his way to the bank. And they made it look like a robbery case. What? How 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 did, how did I get to know about the spoiler role he played against you and your police friend today. Unlike you who laid your guard down by telling me to come here before you. By so doing you neutralize and and uh, you neutralize yourself. You see, I I I I watched my fool closely. And you are one of them, Mr. Okafo. I made my money as a drug baron in South Africa. And such business is not for the naive and foolish brains. Thanks for the money though. We can know it. There is a new development. My wife and I spread some and stole some from Ogunan's yams and tomatoes. And you are afraid that the when she left your compound today, she will go and see uh, Alaji Isa's DIG's brother. Come on, are you so daft? Alaji Isa is dead. That ends Ogonan's police connection. She's not back to square one. More than she, Inspector Chinmen and his men are the ones you should be worried of. Not um, uh, what you are thinking now. Well, those ones will not hesitate to use you to wipe their lost face before they are superior. So, all that we advise you now is to stay away from Ogona, if you ask me. Anyway, let me take my leave. Nine years ago, Daddy, you were laid to rest here. And I was here with everybody. I told you to rest in peace. But it looks like it was a mistake. Because all hell has been let loose. Everything is upside down now. There is no peace around us. Me, Collins. Your brother. Your brother humiliated your wife to, to death and you're still here resting in peace. I have come today, again by your graveside, to tell you that you're no longer going to rest in peace. You have to get to a place I am going to leave this compound, not because I want to, but because my uncle, your brother, and his wife are about to drive me to a point where I will take my life, and I don't want to do it. So I'm here to make a request. If you know how you've been resting for these nine years, I want you to rest no more. You are going to get up and make sure that Uncle Okafo and his wife do not have peace. That every dream, every desire of theirs will not come to pass. All their plans will fail. You will make sure that everything they took from us, they return in full. You will make sure they sleep and not have peace. When they sleep, you wake them up. You have been sleeping, so they will not sleep. 
I want you to get up and do something. You can't let us suffer like this. You're just lying down there doing nothing. And we're here suffering. Your wife has joined you and you cannot do anything. You're not going to rest again. You're going to give them sleepless nights. They're going to have days of, of torture. They're not going to have peace. Let the shadows chase them until they return all they have taken from us. We can't just keep, keep lying down there and, and keeping quiet and doing nothing. That's my request. And you have to do it. They say the spiritual controls the natural. You are there. You see more than I see. So come and do something. I'm tired of you resting and doing nothing. Oh. No, it was exposed to me. Where are you going to? I am going to my grandparents' home. With your luggage? Yes, with my luggage. Ogona has decided that she will no longer continue to live in the same compound with wicked she and he goats. Put the right joy in making people's lives miserable. The stench of their evil is so bad that she cannot take it any longer. Goodbye, goats. How dare you? How dare you call us goats? You? Yeah? Me what? Did I call you? Did I call your name? Oh, Kona Are you now the goats that enter my barn eating my yams and my tomatoes? Are you? Um, no. No, but... but... But what? See, lest I forget. Ogona has also decided that she will not report this case to anybody, not even the police, because she has... She has her hands full. She, she can't waste her time on stupid things like this. Her future is bright. She can't come and be re reporting a, a, a case of a goat stealing yam and all of that. She doesn't have that time anymore. I hope this information will make the goods sleep well tonight and afterwards just that they have in their wickedness uprooted peace and planted crisis on their heads hey the harvest is looming goats and it is bountiful i hope they will enjoy it when it comes goodbye goats nay nay she goats she goats I don't finish up for blue. Yes, I don't finish. Oh, that's here. My friend and I have been trying to tell me to get a call. Oh, that's that is not why I'm here. I, I came to ask you something. You see that place that they upload uh, good? They said that you get her. I won't upload for you. You know how much I will do and upload or for good? That is not a problem, I don't ask and they don't tell me, so I'm okay by it and my boys are strong, they are ready to work. They come and show me, thank you and like Malam, this thing is over by 40,000 naira. I know. Like I do one for you, to be strong with my you are clothed and for you, you are clothed and for you, you are clothed and for many, many, many people are I make me do one for you, go village, you are clothed. Thank you, Alad. Thank you. 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 I won't beg you for something. You see, this market where you they sell, how to sell goat, how to sell chicken, fowl, all those things where they sell. Teach me. I won't go sell for my village. Thank you, Allah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Allah. Oh! 
Kajina, please, you, you won't believe what I just saw now. you enter. Class, say it! Knock! Before you enter. Wow! Collins, Collins, hold on, hold on. Listen to me. Listen. Listen carefully. Don't argue with him. Okay? I, I will... Knock! Before you enter. Collins. Simple etiquette. Learn it. Or you refuse. And <laughs> now see blood on your head. Blood? Blood on his head? Collins, what have you done? What, what, what have you done? Are you sleeping? Wake up, oh! Just wake up. In fact, repeat after me. Knock before you enter. Say it. <laughs> Knock before you enter. Oh my God. Oh my God. Kamita has put me into a mess. My khaki. My khaki. Knock before you enter. Say it. Knock before you enter knock before you enter go ya calling the knock before you enter knock before you enter classy calling knock before you enter knock before you enter go ya knock before you enter knock before you enter Go ya calling knock before you enter now before you enter Go ya now before you enter <laughs> now before you enter Go ya now before you enter <laughs> now before you enter Go ya before you enter <laughs> Mistaken, how? Please, is he, is he okay? He's still going to make it. Oh, sure, he will. Yes. So, you mean the injury did not damage his brain or his skull? Oh, no, no. You see, the scan didn't trivial anything. Ah, thank God. Thank God. Uh, which means uh, he is conscious now, right? That's why I came to see you. He lost so much blood that he risks concussion and other dangerous complications if he regains consciousness now. Yeah. I had to sedate him to enable us to properly patch him up first. The trauma in his brain will last for days or weeks. And that's why it is safer to keep him unconscious. But we will be needing some pints of blood immediately. Blood? Doctor, don't you have his blood match in this hospital? Oh, uh, Mr. Iken. We have no blood bank in this facility. But then we have made arrangements for two people whose blood matches with his. Oh. Yes, they're on their way here. That's good. 
But you know that will require some. No, the money, don't worry. I am relieved and happy for this very good news. No problem. For the money, I will handle that. Uh, but doctor, I have something very important to discuss with you. Can I see you privately in your office? Oh, sure. Of course. Thank you very much. Thank you. I should come before you. Yeah, sure.
can... What happened, doctor? Eh? I told you to admit and properly treat her of whatever ailment that is worrying her since yesterday, doctor. There is nothing wrong with her. What you called ailments is normal for a woman in her condition. Normal? Yeah. Doctor, I don't get it. Yeah. She is two months on. What she needs is rest and nothing more. Excuse me. Skyjet Hotel. You want our time for more details? Ah, uh, alright. Every 
What is it? This has to stop. Eh? We have to stop this before she... she before she catches up with us or what? Eh? Salome, why don't you stop? Stop! Stop worrying about this suffering and smiling idiot. And enjoy the multi-million Naira asset that, that her father has left behind. And enjoy the multi-million Naira asset that is firmly in her grips. What is wrong with you? Do you remember what she said when she returned from detention after her mother's death? Do you remember all we've done to her and her family? Nine. Ogonma is not a suffering and smiling idiot like you call her. She is a wounded and angry maiden driven by revenge. Nine. Look at where she started a few months ago and where she is now. But, uh, all those things will turn to an exercise in futility when I unleash <laughs> my plans against her. When are you going to unleash the plans? When, if you have any plans? Any further delay is no longer acceptable. <laughs> Nan, Ogonna owns the biggest poultry in this community. Few months back, she opened a building material shop with plenty customers. <laughs> with what I heard from a reliable source, mm. she bought some tricycles, popularly known as Keke. I gave it to some people in the city to operate it for her mm. and bring returns. Mm. Nine, if she can build a business worth more than two million naira oh. within one year. What do you think will become of her in two years if we fail to stop her? Think. But I am not letting her continue. I am not. But wait. You think I am naive? Huh? You think? And you know, you Salome, you know that I am not naive. I am not. Let me tell you. I have come up with a better plan that will finish this once and for all. And I am not giving you the details. Mm, don't ask me. I am not giving you the details. Mm. Listen, okay. It will involve poisoning callings to death. Hmm? Or at best, frustrating him to the point of his committing suicide. Oh yes! Listen, Salome. What do you think would be the effect of this on Ogona? And all her audacious efforts. <laughs> oh. Shelly, wait. Collins is at the center of everything that Ogona is doing. Huh? Mm -hmm. Remove colors from the picture. 
and our gun will collapse like a pack of cards. <laughs> Eginia. That is very good. Eginia. Very, very good. <laughs> Any plan without a plan B is no plan. Nay, do you have any plan B? What if the plan fails or backfires? What do we do? What do we do then? Oh, follow me. I mean, you don't even know me. The plan B is already in motion. Oh, yes, ma. Or, let me ask you. Why do you think that we are applying for American visa? Uh, 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 to, to go there and visit our son Oscar that is schooling there. That's what you told me the other time. Hey. Women. <laughs> it's all lies. All fabrications. Let me tell you. There are people who are ready to pay for all the assets that Ogonna's father left behind. And they are willing to pay as soon as I ask them to. Huh? So, if this plan fails, we will sell off everything. And America, here we come. his room, go to his room and get a dry cloth from his bag, change him off on this one he is wearing it. Be fast about that. Let me go to the river and get a container.
This is my problem. <laughs> Collins is my problem. Seriously. <laughs> it's my problem. Yes. Are you mad? Are you stupid? No, no. Take it easy. Huh? Mr. Kina, calm down. So that's your, your, your most teeth now. I have to push her away. What is she kissing? Eh? What is she What is she kissing? I think I'm secretly doing it. I'm kissing her. What? Oh. Me? You think nobody knows? Eh, Collins? Well, the address is out. If you're seeking, seeking romance with my sister, Ezichi, it's out. Okay, Kina, what are you talking about? Please don't say this. Don't allow people to hear what you are saying. You did this too. I'm going to miss me her for God knows how long. She said as much to me. Kalinta and Doctor confirmed as much. He even said he caught you on top, Ezichi. That was why he broke your head. Hey, yes! Jesus Christ, look at that line now. Yes, 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 yes. You do this, yes. Okay, can you hear that? You hear that? Just take it. No, no, you, you, police, get into the car. Get, get into the car, kill you. Get into the car. Let me hear my sister inside. If you should wait. Sorry, huh? Sorry. I'm coming. I'm coming. Doctor, please. Doctor, please. Uh, uh, Sorry for this incident. Very, very sorry for this little drama. Eh? It's, it's not my nature. That boy wants to kill me. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. You need to take it easy with him. See, he's completely not yet out of the wood with regards to the internal injury in his head. Okay. See, any form of violence on him may give rise to more complications. Okay. And that won't be good. You know that. All right, I'll, I'll put that in mind. Eh? Very important. Thank you very much. Once again, I'm sorry for this little thing. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thank, thank you. God bless you. You will see your head. You will see your head. That you want to... Just, 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 just. So you don't you, you, you know who that? Come, come, come. Is she? Come inside. What's the problem? Are you sick? Because I'm here and I don't, you don't want to go. Come, come inside. When, when, when you're busy descending on her, you, you, you never knew that. Cement? 
Kanota. Kanota. Collins. Look at what you've done to me. You should shut that your mouth or before I strangle you to death right now. Are you trying to say that this is not your fault? That you are not to blame for this? Collins. If you had stayed away from this, you would he have attacked you? Would you have been in the hospital to let him all alone in your house to do this to himself? Collins. You are happy now, right? My brother is dead because of you. And your sister is pregnant for you. Collins. No, 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 hold up. Is, is, is this a game to you? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you, did this to get back at me so that I get tired of you and say you need to go? Listen. If you think this is a game to you, if that's the case, let me just let you know this. You've just complicated issue for yourself. So please just allow me to say something. Let me out! What? You fool! Give me no, 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 The goats! What? Stop on goats. I must sell them today. You like die for your stuff. Gwang 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 gwang. Hurry up! Hey, don't be beating them. Let's go. Gwang gwang gwang. Sense, please. Just... Hey, let, me, let me hear what. Yeah. Shut up! Talk to me! You're not ashamed of yourself. Huh? Come in! You don't want to make body. Hey, look at the girl that attracted you. It's not like that. It's not like that. See, I am innocent. Oh, is... Here comes my husband. Please, doctor. Please. Where are you going to? I want to open the gate for Uncle. Which, which hand? Oh, this dirty hand that you used to defy this innocent lady. I will not allow you. Hey! Uh, my dear. Hmm? Just. Just watch him closely so that he will not escape. If he tries it, I'll put a blade to his head before he make the first step.
Ogonna. Ogonna. Why are you here? Ogonna. What's going on? So a lot is happening. Anything they tell you here, yeah. uh, I'm telling you the truth. I am innocent. I'm innocent. Oh! Just, 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 just drop it down. Huh? Ikenna. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, what is the meaning of all this? Collins. Ikenna. Why did you come here with Collins without a prayer notice to me? What is going on here? Honey, your nephew here told this innocent girl he told his bedroom toy. When her mad elder brother saw them in the act. With anger, he hit him on his head. It's a joke. This is a joke! Hey! Collins! It's not, it's not true. Please, just tell me the truth. Come I will believe anything you tell me. Just tell me the truth. I don't want to believe that what they just said is true. Please tell me the truth. Tell me what happened. Oh, come on, come on, believe me. You're lying. Hey! hey, 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 hey. hey. Pregnant for Collins. Hey! I'll see if that was not enough. Collins has a meet my, meet my elder brother. Got little to miss a net. I sneak and drink it. I died immediately. Oh, 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 Ogonna, please. Ogonna, please. Believe me. You're the only one that will listen to me now. All these things you're saying. Ogonna, please. The only option. The only option. See, the only option here, the reason why I came here, is to inform you all that Collins and the she will get married next week. Hey! Yes, they are already married. Yes, because you cannot impregnate my sister and live her like that. Hey! Never. No, okay, can I please, she, in fact, you are all invited to the Apertuma wedding. This is not going to happen! It 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 is not going to happen! Ikenna was lying. That's obvious to even a kid. <laughs> we are obviously saying this because of the encounter you had with him in the hotel room some months back. Do you think that others who have no knowledge of this will believe all this? I guess not. I guess not. And that was his calculation when he planned all this. Oh. Poor Collins. Poor him. 
For you to say this, that means in your joy at the ugly turn of events against him, you have not really stopped to ask yourself what Ikena really want to gain out of this. Um, I am sure he wants to clean up the incest scandal hanging on the face of his family. And I can tell you, he has succeeded. And you believe that is all that he wants? That a criminal like him has no other ulterior motive? How do you mean? That young man has killed before to stay clean and free from the consequences of his crime. If he planned and killed those who blackmailed him before, what makes you think that he's not planning to do it again? Are you saying that he could be planning to eliminate us? Both of us and our only child, Oscar. He hasn't done that yet because he must be eyeing Obina's well that is with us as well. That was why he carefully wrote Collins into this scandal as soon as he successfully marries him to his sister. Trust me, Ikena will find a way to eliminate Collins and his sister and the rest of us and claim the entire family's assets using the child who will not be seen as the only surviving member of our family. He is playing us in his game of greed. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Ikena, you have met your match this time around. I swear tonight, eh, I will so turn that his evil plan against him so much that he will not know what he's into until Ezichi or Gunna Collins are all six feet below. Good. Even him. Oh. Yes. Kudu, Kudu. <laughs> you guys are good. The whole village was fooled. Including the policemen. They all believed it was a case of unintended suicide caused by his mental health problem. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kudu. Thank you very much. I told you we are professionals. Didn't I? You did. And there's no doubt about that. Uh, let me get to your balance. Hold on. This is it. Kudu, not so fast. Not so fast. I have another job for you and your boys. Yes. What are you done? I trust you. The boys. That's good. Enough. That's good. Beautiful. <laughs> That is wonderful. That is it.
agora. No, whatever this nonsense is all about, it will have to end this minute. Whatever my Okai Kinna is plotting against me will have to end. I'll put a stop to it. That is useless. A swine of a sister and myself will end it today in the pool of our own blood. Now, myself and Okai Kinna will end our settle our scores in his house in the city. Ogonna, I am sorry, but I have to do this. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Is it she? Is it she? Is it she? Keep watch over him and his sister and to make sure he neither escapes nor harm her sister in any way. Do you have any problem with that? I have a problem with that, sir. Because assuming what you're saying is the truth, is this how you're keeping watch? You, you're apparently going to kill him. You wanted to kill him. If I didn't come, you would have killed him. Whoever you are, I do not have any business with your girl. Ask the fool. He has a mouth to say. Let him explain to you if you wish to know. Yeah, take it inside. Since you're trying to kiss me. In fact, she kissed me. Hmm? Yes. It's good for nothing kissed me. Listen, I don't know what Ogai Kenna and my, my uncle are up to. But that kiss shows a, a, a red line. Yes. So I decided to, to, to end it up just like that at once. I don't understand. You tried to kill Izichi. Yes, now. Are you mad? Are you out of your mind? Who would be out of his mind? Do you know what I've, I've been going through for the past eight months? Which human being will not be out of his mind? Which human being? Everyone except Collins. Are you mad? What do you mean by you to end it all? So you don't know what the plan of these people are? After everything that has been going on, you still do not know. They want to stretch you and they want to break you. No, but I mean, this is dehumanizing. You don't know what I am passing through. Huh? I almost killed her before this... I know exactly what you're going through. <laughs> exactly the reason I am here. You will not let their plan work. If you give in to what they have planned, it will be that they, they have won. Let's talk.
Kudu, what happened? Why did you call me here demanding that we meet so urgent like this, Kudu? What I wanted us to discuss calls for it. And what is that? Why didn't you tell me it was your brother who impregnated your sister and that he attacked Collins because he caught them having sex and called you to report it? Because it never happened. What happened was what I told you when I gave you the job and the current one you are about to do. Look, Kudu. I will advise you to concentrate on your job and stop snoozing around. I was concentrating and that was how I overheard Collins telling his sister what happened minutes after the incident I called to report to you earlier today. He did? Well, such lie is not unexpected from someone under the circumstances. Was it? I mean, the guy is in a hot soup. What do you expect? To admit that he did such shameful act to my own sister? Come on. It is only natural for him to cook up sweet lies so that people believe him. Not someone like you, Kudu. Yes, except that in this case, you paid my boss and I to kill the man he's accusing and make it look like suicide three days ago. Any explanation to that? Kudu, the teeth that the dog plays with, it bites. Now I repeat, I heard you, paid you very well to do a job. Concentrate on that job so there will be peace. Hmm. Now you are threatening me. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, that's not all. The sister came to inform him that a northern friend of hers named Malam Gunu has agreed to give them 50,000 US dollars to give to you and secure his freedom. And that in addition to taking your case and deals with their uncle to some big guys in police and DSS for proper investigation and possible prosecution. He will also ensure that a DNA test is conducted to ascertain the true paternity of the child as soon as your sister gives birth. Kudu, you are joking, aren't you? The man is offering them all that in exchange for Ugona's hands in marriage. She said she will agree to go to her fire if it will guarantee her brother's freedom and justice against you and their uncle. So, she has agreed to marry the man. The man left for Mecca today and their wedding will happen as soon as he returns. That will never happen. Then, make it not to happen and make sure that whatever you are going to do does not include any attempt to eliminate my boys and I because all our conversations on phone and face to face including this one, are recorded with, and with someone who will forward them to the police if anything, anything happens to us. That includes a video of the actual killing of your brother. You did what? I just forwarded our current discussion to him now. Good luck. Clean up the mess you started. Smart enough to know what 
that what you gave me today was just a notice of something you will be coming to me with sooner or later. He will not make those recordings just to keep me from falling against him, but I said, flat to do better. Well, Kodo, you cannot say that with my wives. And I will soon make that very clear to you in a deadly star. You have only succeeded in forcing me to change my plans to do it. You, Ogonna, and Madame Kulu, have an all, and my reply to you will be bloody indeed. From my inquiries, Madame Kulu will be in Saudi Arabia for the next five weeks, and that's enough time for me to get you to drink on this and easy to come Once that is done, the same message delivered to Allah Jisa will be delivered to Ogonna and by my voice. On his way to the half year a few days later, Collins will meet with a perfect motor accident. He will never come out, come out alive. That done, my boys will visit to Kat and his wife at night a few days later with lethal injection and make it look like they died of food poisoning in their sleep. With that, the only person that will survive to inherit the family's wealth will be easy his child once he or she, once she gives birth. A few years later, that way we will also join the others in the spirit world, and then with the mother being a walking day that she is, everything will become mine. Good one. Back to my Let me now put my brain to use on how to deal with good and good, once and for all. No one, I repeat, no one will be left alive to ever spoil my shoe again now in the future. You fed it up in my You find it To London, study by his parents, with a whole lot of fun fair and expectation, back to Nigeria, a dropout and a fucking fugitive. Damn! This is bullshit. I can't can believe this sound to me right there. What about me, Oscar? I mean, what about me, bro? What about me who sold off all my late parent assets and relocated to America to build and launch a music career, man? Look at me, man. I'm back to base, man. No music career launch, no money made, no fucking honor left, man. What's the guy? A practically sneak out of America to avoid jail time for drug peddling, burglary, man. I'm a fucking fugitive. What are you talking about, man? Practically made enemy of all my relatives, man. Just to look into America. Now, who do I run to, man? Who do I go to for help now that I'm back empty and broke, man? You're better off than me, man. What are you talking about, man? You have your parents, you have your uncle's wealth waiting for you that will seize, man. You're better off than me. What are you talking about? Right, nigga. And I'm going to be to shoot myself to that. Come on, Oscar, what are you talking about, man? I don't get you. Well, I don't know how it's gonna happen yet. But I have decided to keep my disgraceful self away from them until I find a way to make some redo. Yes. You know, I can go back to them like this without a certificate of Central American to acquire. It's gonna be a whole lot of bullshit. You know, I really have to go back to them. Then I have to go back as a motherfucking big boy. What a weed cash. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Come on, Oscar. Take it easy, okay? Hey, what, what are you talking about, man? I don't get you. What are you talking about? We are going to stay in this hotel for a long time. Man, how do you pay, man? You and I knew very well that we have no damn in our pocket when we came back from America, man. How do you pay, man? Shoot, my nigga. You're talking to Oscar the Brother B, man. You know how I'm running back down in the state? Chill, I got a plan. 
I have an account here in Nigeria before I left for the state. Now, last time I checked, I have over two million naira on that account. And my folks usually put money monthly on that account. And with that, we can always put body and soul together. Damn it, man! What the fuck you <laughs> You're my G, man. You're a motherfucking G. Say that again. Oscar, man. Oscar the dollar deal, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. You're my G. That's my name. He just took away a whole lot of stress off my shoulder, man, with that news. Two. And. Man, that's a whole lot of shit, man. With that, no, we can keep our swag. At least for one month. Man, check me out, man. That's <laughs> <laughs> my G, man. I'm talking about our swag. Why don't you stop? I have it all fixed, nigga. All fixed? Yeah, you know what I mean. Hey, come on, man. Where do we get it from? I mean, can we get it right from this hotel? I always told you, Ashwai. Shoes, believe me. I'm still the Oscar. I have one ride in my shoes. Yo, you're my nigga, man. You're my fucking nigga, man. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Oh my G. Now let's have our fix, man. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Where does it look like I'm going? See, I will let the import slide because of the major event we have in this family today. If not, I would have had this gentleman to break or go to pieces. It's okay. It's okay, my honey. It's okay. Um, Ogonna, you are not going anywhere today. You are not going to go to your poetry. You are not going to go to your goatry. In fact, you are not going to go to any O3 today. Yes, sir. All those useless places you go to have been cancelled today. You know why? Because today, your useless brother, Colin, hmm, is having his traditional wedding to his imbecile wife. Eh? And so you are going there today. Eh? You see, you can see, my wife and I, we are all dressed for the event. Yes, that sir. is why we have come to take you along. I don't need a ride to go to the venue with you. I will make my arrangements myself. But that is after I am done with what I set out to do. Oh my God. In this particular issue, it is my way and not yours. Hmm? Listen, let me tell you. Today, you are going to witness and share in the total public humiliation of your useless brother who has impregnated an investigator. Hmm? You see, that is why I have brought this gentleman here. Because I know you want to dodge. You want to dodge this occasion today, but you will not. Not on your life. You cannot. You must not. Hmm. And let me tell you. Come, gentlemen. Talk. When she gets to the uh, venue, hmm, during the bridal dance, make sure she dances the most. Eh? Yes, make sir. sure she dances like she has never danced before. Yes, sir. Because you have to disgrace yourself. Yes, sir. And there is no point going back to change your attire. This khaki she's putting on is okay. It's very good it's because the, 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 the marriage, the wedding is an odd marriage. So everything has to be odd about you. Aya, gentlemen. Aya. Oh, move, 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 Follow me. Stay there. Stay there. Linda, how are you doing? Alright. Good. Very good. Uh, the policeman I paid to bring it just brought it. Look at it. It is fully loaded. Uh, yes. As discussed, Dudo, take advantage of this compound with it. Uh, or rather, uh, stay very close to him. Close mark him. And during the wedding ceremony, if he tries to behave as if we are trying to push him to marry my sister, put a straight bullet to his head. Keep quiet, keep quiet! Corporate, hey. Collins, you heard him. Yes. Comply, or... It's why I like you, Dodo. Kill you! Good. Uh, um, let's go, let's go. Come, follow me. Come. I'm trying to straighten your life. You are, you are, you are, you are making a mess of yourself.
<clears throat> like I said before, you came to the right place for the kind of wealth you seek. I can give it to you just as I have done to others that came before you. But as it is said, nothing goes for nothing. So you must be prepared to make sacrifice to the spirit of money if you really want to get it quick and fast. Are you ready to do that or not? Yes, yes sure, we're ready. Um, what kind of sacrifice are we talking about, man? You make a blood sacrifice. What? Damn! Human blood? God damn it! Yes, blood of a virgin. You bring a virgin here, each of you, and I make sacrifice, and you shall both become instant millionaires. You know, I and my nigga just got back into the country, and um, we really didn't know much about this damn bullshit. Um, so we really need your help uh, over getting those bitches. So talking about um, money to pay the kind of guys that can get us this damn bitches we're talking about right now. We don't have it, man. So you really need to help us. But um, trust me, we gotta fix you up somewhere. You understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll That's fix you fact. somewhere. That's the fact, man. That's the real deal. Alright, you gotta help us, man. You gotta help us, man. Tell me, you, man. We will make you the president of this damn nation. This seed! Real good. That seed, man. I'm gonna keep my word, man. This credit, swear. Shh. This is a holy place, not the streets of Chicago where you were peddling drugs, young man. Make one more silly talk, and I shall turn you into a stone. Come on, me. You. Take it easy, take it easy, nigga. Ask for help? That is it in your hands. Any virgin you touch with it will turn into a tortoise instantly. Bring the tortoise to this place and I will change the tortoise to human and use the human being for the sacrifice. Be careful you don't touch a maiden that is not a virgin. Because if you do that, thunder shall strike you dead instantly. Dee! That's a very powerful sham in your hands. Uh, tell us? Can I ask you a question? I could, that's my nigga. Um, now tell us, how do we know which of those bitches that a virgin is? Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm how saying? How do you know them, man? How do you know the virgins? Target girls between the ages of 5 and 10 and be safe. Yeah. Age 5 and 10. 10. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. That's right. cool, nigga. Gonna do it. Right, like right that. Damn. I never knew comfortable machines like this are used for taxi services in this country. It's wonderful. So tell me, where have you guys been all this while? That I and my nigga have been jumping from one funny metal moving shit, gliding around this motherfucking country. Well, I've been around, sir. You see, the hotel you guys are lodging happens to be one of the top class hotels we have in the city. You know, they contact me to bring their taxi and services to their guests. Maybe you guys have not called them to arrange one of the taxi as you guys just did today. Oh, no, no, no. No, we, we never did. Well, we never did. Uh, we actually knew they can help this morning when we found it from one of your porters. Uh, but anyway, the ride is okay. We're oh, cool with it. That is it, sir. Talking about my car, this is even not 
one of the top class cars used as taxi services in this country. You see, Nigeria is not as backward as you guys in overseas think anyway. You see, in this country, as long as you have your money, you can even get more better cars than this that can drive you around. We, you can even have an SUV, uh, a Range Rover Sport that can drive you around at the service service. Even an helicopter for... I never knew this guy is a niggy. Really? <laughs> uh, no, that, that's, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, I never knew he's a niggy. That's nice, bro. That's <laughs> nice. Bro. <laughs> well, well, you know what? You, you, give me, you, give, you give me your contact later so we can see them make things work out. You understand? <laughs> we can have some drinks, you know. I hope, I hope we'll continue having some drinks. Wow, that's my thing. Like, I never knew guys like this are uh, 16 <laughs> right in this country. Nice operations, okay? Yeah, yeah. Very smooth operation, okay? Very Relax. smooth. Now open up this briefcase, let me see what we have inside. What? Barbaco, what is this? I, 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 thought, I thought you told us the guys we just robbed now, recent American returnees. Moving money somewhere for a business deal. The guy who gave me this information is the same person that works in the hotel. All these guys are lost men. <laughs> when? When did life totals become money? I mean, which country's currency is this? Let's just calm down, okay? Let's all calm down, okay? There's a mix up somewhere, okay? 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 Because the person who gave me this information is the same guy that gives us information that we operate with in all these instances. His information panned out. I mean, just hold on. Let me call this guy. Let me just call him. Just call this guy. Thank you. Thank you for wasting our time. Nige, let's bounce out. But I can, I, I can just... This guy's the mother of Lockdown, man. You successfully kidnapped the children of the owner of the hotel you lodged in and turned them to tortoises. Yes, yes. But you were robbed of the tortoises on your way to this place. Yes, yes, yes Lord Talas, yes, please. You have to help us, please. Help you? Yes. yes. You, you, really, you, you need to tell us, tell us where this, this robbers have, have headed to with the tortoises so we, we can get them, I mean, we can double cross them and then bring back the tortoises for the sacrifice. Yes. I don't know where they've gone to. The tortoises are on their way to your village, Oscar. What? To my village? How? Yes, and you must go to your village undisguised. Find them and bring them here. Come to my village? Come on, Lord Tars. You remember what I told you? I know what you told me. The charms I gave to you does not last in the body of the victims for more than 24 hours. 
Once it is 24 hours from the moment you use the charms on the girls, the charms will return back here to me. Once that happens, the tortoises will turn back to the girls and both of you will run mad instantly. Lord Talas, please, 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 you have to help us. Please, you have to help us. I, I don't want to run mad, Lord Talas. I know I'm mad, I beg. Please, you just have to help us. See, just help us and tell us where the tortoises are in this village, okay? We, we, we will go there, double cross them and, and get you the tortoises. Please, I, I don't want to run mad. Please, Lord Talas, please, I beg you. Why you look me like that now? You and go, go, go my village. Eh? Who are you? One name, all the king, Aquaria, Aquaria. Me follow you go my village. Ah. Man, I'm, I'm not in for that shit. What do you want to do, Mark? Both the living and the dead are working full time to find the girls. Save yourselves from a lifetime of full madness by acting fast to find them first. Please, Lord, Lord tell us. You have to help us, please. Be good. I can believe this is happening. I can't believe it. What the Nazi doctors and seers went see? After we left Lord Dallas Chambers? No one is saying anything positive. No one is saying anything helpful. No, I don't understand the shit. Tell me. Oscar O'Connor for the world. I am going to go mad. That is not possible. I am going to go mad. You're mad. You're mad, Oscar. See, no more grammar. You hear me so? No more this American slang or whatever you call out. Now you bring me into this wala. The hell so? And you must end that. Guy, you must end this. I know I'm mad, Oscar. I the hold my ear, they want you. I know I'm mad, Oscar. Get you. Take it easy. I practically understand what the fuck you're going through right now, man. She will let think of something. You understand? Oscar. She will tell you to the entire head of you. Make I chill. Oscar, make me David chill so I go collab you. Mad, you lie. Oscar, you lie. See, carry phone, call your papa now. Oscar, carry phone, call your mama. I know I'm mad, Oscar. Oscar, I know I'm mad. It's one of the things I'm talking about right now. Calling for what? What the fuck am I calling them? What the fuck am I calling them for? See, Oscar, one of the native doctors there, eh, he said the person where all the talk is now non indigenous for your village. Oscar. Carry phone now. Carry your phone. Call your pops here. Yeah? May carry a Kennedy arrest every non indigenous for your village. Guy, once you arrest them, eh, we will enter your village this night. Eh? Beat all of them and beat the idiot who hold that tortoise. He will confess and give her back to us. Guy, your papa home. Oscar, your papa home. Your papa will feel put this in. Ah, shit. You know what, I mean? Right now, I've made a personal decision that I'm not going for my. Oscar, yes, you didn't hear the talk, Abi. You didn't hear the talk. I, see, I will kill you if I run mad. You, you're mad. Oscar, you're mad, yeah? Hey, hey, hey. Stop the cross of all this nonsense. Oh. Forget this American thing when you're in the game. Only go square. Anyway, anyway, my idea. I have an idea. Oscar. Which. Wait, waiting be your idea, I mean, waiting be your idea, Oscar. You think just come in now and see now. First criminal for my village. Then I will go meet them. I'll find out some cash. You go help us. Why is here the village around? Fit get us. These people, these do this thing, go forget them. I try one of these things, I'd be fool. Be idiot. Get this idea since night. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. What you do? No guy sense. Um, guy. Those tortoises, okay, are not just ordinary tortoises, okay? They are special species. I bought three one of my trips to SA. Alright? 
Amongst every other animal pet that I have, I love them most. I love them to the extent I'm ready to give out 500,000 naira to anyone that will help me recover them. The moment I have them back on my arms, I will track my git man that stole them and deal with him mercilessly. But first, the tortoises need to be palms. Alright? There is a special drug they take every 20 hours or they die. Please, you have to help me. It will be 20 hours since they took the last one by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Guy, I need your help. I need your help, please. Um, <sighs> you, you, you said Oscar Carpo is your friend who is in America. And he gave you my contact. <sighs> but a reliable seer told you that the tortoises are with a stranger living in this village. Exactly. Even though I don't believe your stories um, about why you are desperate to get these tortoises, I will help you because of my friend Oscar. You have to bring the money. I and my boys will get the tortoises before daybreak. Are you sure about this guy? Are you sure about what you just said? There are no many strangers living in this village and all of them I know their houses. If only what your seer told you is the truth, then consider the tortoises with you by daybreak. I promise. Thank you. Thank you very much. In fact, I must thank you in advance, okay? But um, please, like I told you, you must get me the tortoises tomorrow morning to the hotel that I told you I'm lodged, all right? Um, call with me to the car that I came with. I will give you 300,000. I'll give you the balance the moment you get me those tortoises in my hotel. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> my informant informed me that Agonna will be going to the city to buy her goods as usual. Here. The address of the bank where she makes her withdrawals from. Very close to Gaiki Market. And also, the address of where you and your boys would lodge tonight. Lodge tonight? Yes. You see, this operation is very important to me. And I don't want to take any chances. You are going to the city with your boys once we conclude our discussions. When you get to the city, I want you to study the terrain very well and plan the heat. You see, I don't want mistakes. As soon as she comes out of the bank, I want you to follow her. She must not get to Kaiki Market alive. I want everything to look like a perfect robbery operation. That means she and all the people in the vehicle that she has boarded must all die. Any questions? Uh, no, sir. Mm -hmm. Consider it done. That's one million dollars. You will get the other half when you complete your assignment. Good luck. Thank you, boss. Are you in your room in the guest house? Good, good. I actually called to let you know that it is 100% confirmed. Yes, that she would come to Gary Key Market tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And once she does, I want you and your boys to storm the place, open fire on everybody shouty slogan like islamic terrorist yes of course you already have what you need to dress to look just like them <laughs> uh, listen carefully this whole drama is centered on ogona so i want the first shot to go straight to ogona and once that is confirmed waste some waste few souls yes and live there as soon as possible before the police arrive. 
Then after that, I want you and your boys to come and meet me at the agreed place so you can collect your balance. Yes. Uh, is there anything you don't understand? Any question? Oh, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Hmm. Your guy must have arrived at the hotel. Where's my phone? Take it easy, man. Let me call him to direct him to our room. What? Miss Calls. How many Miss Calls is he up to? 100? 14 Miss Calls, Oscar. 14 Miss Calls, and they were all made before 10 p.m. last night. Gee. Calling him, I'm calling him. I guess only if I'm arriving here again. You know, it's no point for that. Just call him. Now, make sure you put it on the speaker. Okay? Just, just call him. Call him. Let's find out where he is so we can go get the taxes. I just no need him arriving here. I'm calling him. I'm calling him. Hey, hello, my guy. My guy, where, where are you? Where are you there, guy? Just tell me where you are. I need to meet you up, okay? I need to meet you up with the drugs my tortoises. Look, they have just 30 minutes to leave. Please, where are you? Um, 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 my, my phone, uh, d d guy, just, um, please, please, okay, I'm sorry for the missed calls, please, where are you? My guy, calm down, okay, w w wait, wait, you, you let her return to the village to carry out my own operation, right? That was what delayed you from coming to my hotel this morning. Guy, I understand. Please, just tell me where you are. Where are you so I can meet you up? The guy, the guy carried out my own operation, Abi. The guy carried out my own operation and he's on his way to the hotel. Hello? Guy! Hello? This is 
not happy. The, the least! The fuck is this? Yes, Oscar, the least. The least, Oscar. Seventeen names on the list, Oscar! How are we supposed to account such number of people? Secure the twenties and return to Lord Talas before 10 a.m. That's the 24th hour, Oscar. That's the 24th hour. God, this is not happening. God. Oh, I don't know why. I, I, I don't know, but all I know right now is that the time for asking questions is over. It's over. We are going to the village right this minute! To do what, Oscar? To do what? Go into the village to find the doctors! I don't want to go mad. Or do you want to go mad? God forbid. Good. Shit! Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Who are you? Um, actually, my name is Wari Boko. Okay, I am one of the coppers in this village serving under the secondary school years. Okay. I actually caught something today at my lodge, and people told me that the only person that can help me buy or sell this is you. And what is that? Tortoise. For what? Actually, it's then take a look. Hey! Well, I, <laughs> see, I know I sell, um, I buy and sell goods but the things I buy and sell are only livestock. Things people eat. Not things like this. See, the thing is they told me that you're going to the city today where you buy your goods. So I was just thinking if you could just help me sell them there. See, I'm really in need of cash. Please, I beg you, help me just sell this. Okay. I will help you sell it. But please, next time, don't come with things like this. Okay. I don't, I don't, Thank you very much. Let me put them in. Put it. I'll just keep it. Thank you very much. You really don't know how I so much. No, no, keep it. Thank you. Okay, babe. Give me one minute. I beg, hurry up, hurry up. What the fuck is wrong with this asshole? Why don't you get this? Look at the time! Okay, we don't have any time. We don't have this time, Oscar. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can you take me out of this, this, this motherfucking place? You don't have time? What's happening? What's happening? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on here? Baby, no. What's wrong with you? If he be on you. Damn! Oscar, we don't have this time. Oscar, we don't have this time, man. Listen, Oga, wait till be damn, 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 damn. Now wait himself. You forget something for the former car. You tell me, make I know how you go take. Fuck up and take this motherfucking car. Take me out of this goddamn forsaken place. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? I got another shot for you. You go come down and I tell you do. Come down. I be, let, wait, oh. Now my fault, say uh, my friend's car spoil. He carry me, make I can't help you. My tire boss, I still do. I'm still to help you. Car spoil. Hey, 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 punish you that place where they. Now who you want blame? Now you your friend where you use stupid cars put for road. Or my my, my friend where where arrange the four gen job. He dey mad. Do you know two, thirty minutes you don't spend two hours for your motor, bro? You don't need to waste your energy on that motherfucking asshole. You are nothing but an asswipe. Now you look at me very well. Look at me real good. One more word from you, I'm gonna whoop your ass real bad. You understand what I'm saying, you motherfucking bad luck? Now take this motherfucking oh, that car. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. See, no try, bro. No try nonsense here. Yeah. If you do anything, if you talk anything, we'll fool your mouth. But no try call me bad luck. If you try call me bad luck, yeah, that bad luck will follow you. What do you worry? Come down! Because what you do? Speak nonsense. They talk rubbish. Yes, now we. Are you talking to me? Come down, make a. Come down! 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 Come down!
啊！司机，赶紧去，来吧！哎，我叫你安打司机，来吧！阿爸，你做。Where is this place? Oscar! Where is this place? Take it easy. This is my parents' house. Listen to me. We don't have time to do this ourselves anymore. We have to involve my parents. What? Yes. We have to involve the police. Just like you suggested. Who is here? Please open the gates! Open the gates! You know what? Yeah? Let's, let's take the other way. The building is far from this gate. Probably nobody's here. Just come. Okay. Honey. No, this honey, listen very carefully. We don't have time. We don't have time. in such a dirty bag and be seen with them. Otherwise, the next rumor in town will be that I went to a native doctor with them to acquire charms to harm people. They might even twist the story in a way that it will kill my business and Uncle Okafo and his wife can't wait for such a story. Mbao, I can't give them that chance. So these turtles will travel concealed in this bucket. Yes. Because of what Lord, Lord Tell has told us will happen to us if if we don't get the tortoises and, and return it to him before How can you tell me that she has not come there at this time? Guys, guys, hold on, listen. Are you sure you are where I told you to stay and look out for her? Uh -huh. And she's not there by, by, by this time, by 12.30 p.m.? Oh, but that's not possible. Uh, 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 all right, okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, stay where you are, okay? Uh, let me miss a few calls and I'll get back to you. Just hold on. How can 
I just sit here and keep making calls? Eh? Believe you what some buffons told me. I have to go there and take charge myself. But it's, it's, it's risky. Who cares? Leaving or creating room for any mistake at this stage is far more risky. You cannot move. I have to go. Committed against my brother and I. As a matter of fact, the police are with the tapes against you, including the one Kodum made against you. Justice has prevailed. The God of Miracle does not sleep. There is nothing possible. Of course, you will explain when you get to the station. Jesus! 